I'm going to show you how I make a code replacement file for use in Photo Mechanic using uh, the internet, uh, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Word. Um, essentially, a code replacement file is short form to uh, enter data into uh, Photo Mechanic. So if I were to do a hockey team and I was going to do Minnesota, I would do M11, which would be my short code, my abbreviation for Minnesota 11, and it would become Minnesota Wild forward, back, Parisi, Oop. and number 11, and I have to hit enter. And that'd be how you'd manually type in a code replacement file. So I'm going to try to show you a quicker and easier way using the internet. So I went to ESPN and grabbed the Columbus Blue Jackets roster. That's the team I just finished shooting. I'll copy this into Excel. I'm just going to paste it as special, and I'm going to paste it as a text file. So here it has uh, my name, numbers. I don't need any of this information, how old they are, and where they're born. So these will become my four words. I'll copy that for all my four words. And these are my defensemen. And my goalies. Goalie. Goalie. I'm going to delete these lines I don't need in here. And then I'm going to create column headers here. And this will be my abbreviation. This will be the full team name. Their number. Player and position. My abbreviation is going to be C for Columbus. Some people use H for home and B for visitor. I just like using the first letter of the team. So Columbus, Blue Jackets is the team name. And I'm going to copy this for the entire roster. And then I'm going to save this. I have a file called code replacements on my desktop, NHL. And I'm going to save it as this Columbus Blue Jackets file here. Now, since I created this file in Excel, I'm now going to go to Word. And I'm going to do a mailing. This is an older version of Word where I can do a mail merge. So I'm going to mailings, select start a mail merge. And I'm going to do a step by step mail merge wizard. I'm not going to do a letter or an email. I'm going to do a directory to a starting document. I'm going to use the current document. I'm going to select my recipients now. So now I have to use an existing list. I'm going to look for that Excel file I just created. So I know it's in code replacements, NHL 1617, and Columbus Blue Jackets Excel file. Open. I'm using sheet one, and I'm using the, the first row contain header columns. OK. Quick preview, make sure all this stuff is right. So now I'm going to arrange my directory. I'm not going to do an address block or a greeting line. I'm going to do a more items. And I need my abbreviation, which will be C. Then I'm going to need my number. Then I'm going to have it read the full team name, the position, the player, and then the number. So after my abbreviation and number, I need to hit the tab key. Full team name, space, position, player, space, number space, but I need the number in parentheses. And I'm going to hit enter to go to the next line. So on the right here, I'm going to preview my directory. And C17 now becomes Columbus Blue Jackets forward brand Davinsky 17. So I'm going to complete my merge to a new document. I'm going to record all the records. And there you have it. Now the entire roster is now saved as a text file. So I will now do this file, save as. I'm going to save this as a plain text into my code replacement files. And right here, Columbus, save. Replace existing file, yep. OK. So now what I want to do is when I go into uh, Photo Mechanic, I'm going to load that file. And I already have a load in here as Columbus, my text, Minnesota Wild, Minnesota Captions. I have a bunch of generic captions I use. I have first, second, third, handles of puck, skates of the puck, stuff like that. More short court I use when I'm uh, capturing photos. Hit OK. So if I'm going to capture this photo now of Bobrovsky, 
I am going to, I have a generic caption template. I'm going to put C72, which is Sergey Bobrovsky. I hit the other accent mark and it pumps in my information right there. So, and I'm going to say, looks for the puck in the second period against the M for Minnesota Wild. And there you have it. It's a quick and easy way to caption your photos and use it. So save, advance, go to my next photo, and I do the same thing for this photo. And that's a quick and easy way to um, make your own code replacement files. Hope you enjoy it.